Hey guys, it was Bambi TV. Guys, you're checking out Five of College Kid Get School by Charlie and Candace. Guys, let's get straight into this. Thank you for being here. What's your name? Okay, um, my name is Quinn Thomas, and one day I will be the president of the United States. Hey! All right. <laughs> Bye. Don't clap for me because after I say what I have to say, y'all won't be clapping for me. <laughs> um, I came here not with the idea to yell or to protest or do any of that because I just wanted to learn and hear what other people of opposing ideology had to say. Give them a round of applause for but, that. But, but, but I thought I would be here at something more open where we could all have conversation. I felt like I was just being attacked, attacked every uh, 20 seconds with the language and the rhetoric that you guys uh, use. Like, like Candace, what? Like, like Candace, Candace, I feel like what for, for you, I feel like you can't even say anything about the, you're preaching to the black community in a room full of white people. I was at an HBCU you're last night. You're preaching about the black I community in a room. I was at an HBCU last night. Well, take that message back to the HBCU. I already did, I did, it's, well, it's take, live stream. Well, take it back, So, take it So back. you're wrong, so you, so you just tried to say something that's not true. We, you're trying no. to paint the room as if there's all white people here is not, and you're trying look, to make look, it seem like I'm look, afraid look. to go speak to my community, and look, you're wrong. Look, So Candace, that'll be shut Candace, down. Candace, Candace. I clearly know that you have t taken this message on the road to uh, HBCU. Last night. As I, learned, as I learned from you, because before today, I didn't know who you were. Um, but what I was saying was, Candace, is I don't feel like you could have that conversation here in a room full of white because people. Because of liberals. Because they kept why interrupting us. Why do you us. feel like we have to be segregated? Why but, do you but, feel but, like we have but, to be segregated but, from white people? But, but back to my question to somebody who I know, because some I don't know you. Some future president. Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. My question is, how do you uh, support your father for the things that he said, such as he believes that you should grab women by the... He didn't say that. Yeah, I want to say something. Done, I want to say something. Let, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. That's a ridiculous question, first and foremost. It's a ridiculous stop. question. Because I'm, ridiculous question. Question. I'm sure you've never said anything Are you mad? Stop, stop, Are you mad? Stop, stop, I'm sure. Stop. But you just call let liberals me, vicious, me, right? But you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. First and foremost, actually, since we're bringing we up talk. HBCU, somebody asked this question and she asked, asked it respectfully because she wasn't, you know, she wasn't trying to be, um, get a bunch of attention, which is what you're trying to do right now. And she said to me, Candace, how can, you support, how can you support a president that said that you know, um, he wants to grab one by the foot? First off, the, the, the left ran away with that and they changed around his words. He said specifically that there are women who would literally let them grab them by the foot. He did say that, correct? And I, I, I asked her a question back. I said, how bizarre is it that we are pretending, as, as people, especially in the black community, that listen to hip hop lyrics, when all they do is talk about groupies and how groupies will literally let men do anything to them. Basketball talk, stars talk about this, rappers talk about this in their music, Jay-Z talks about this, Beyonce talks about this in her music, about girls that try to be up on Jay-Z and her man. Now all of a sudden we're all going, oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe that men having a private conversation behind closed doors acknowledge the same thing, that there are women who act like that. So it's a fake question. You're acting like that's not something but that we all know. know. But do you he didn't know? say he was going to go around and grab women by the <laughs> You've taken that and you've made something that's not real and it's not it's true. Okay. He never said that. that. There's also a double standard. Candace? There's also a double standard here. Because, by the way, anyone in this room, have any of you guys had a beer? <laughs> no, no, right. because I don't drink. So you guys, you guys are conservatives. So having a beer in high school or college would preclude you from public service later on in life. Basically but if you were the president yeah. and you were a liberal, you could blow lines all day long and it's not a problem. His name That's is That's the Bill double Clinton. standard this is of what's out there. Like, this is, this you is can why do I'm... cocaine and be president, right. but if you're conservative, you can't have a beer. But this is why Doesn't nobody identifies with left anymore. They act like there's some angel princesses. Oh, we would never say that about a groupie. Oh, we would never have a beer. The fact that he was drinking in high I school. Nobody identifies them because of just this sort of a thing. Men in locker rooms can talk a certain way. By the way, women talk a lot worse than that. Let me tell you that, okay? Women talk worse than that. And they act like they're, they're, they're princesses and they can't believe that people can have real conversations behind closed doors. That's why your party's losing. Guys, she owned them. And I feel he, he started like he had sense and he just blew it up. That's why he said, please don't clap for me. You don't know what I'm about to say. Like, he knew it's about to fuck up. But like, what do you actually think about it? For me, I feel Candice owned him. I feel she explained the situation very well. And I, I don't really know his problem. For you to say you don't know Candice, like, Ah, <laughs> that hurt her. Like I, 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 maybe she didn't feel it because she know he was capping. But like, 
who doesn't look like who doesn't look handles like i don't think anyone who has a phone and who is on the internet and who listens to this kind of stuff doesn't look handles like especially human rights and racism like i don't think you will know candles because i think she's one of the person that actually push the fact that she, i think she's trying to destroy the ideology that black have and white have more power than white and you know when you have that kind of ideology you don't just push like you don't you don't give it your all in the sense that you just feel like ah it's because i'm black now i think she's trying to destroy that mindset because i feel not i feel but the truth is that what if black can do you can do it too and uh the color of your skin doesn't matter like it doesn't matter the fact that for the fact i'm black doesn't mean i can't become the president i feel president obama proved that wrong because a black man can also become the president and i believe that like i love the fact that she's trying her best to destroy that ideology but i don't think about this just to like share subscribe my channel i'll see you next time guys Bye.